wait, wait. I'm not a complete failure. Things are growing. The slugs ate it all, or so I thought. How are you, Terry? How's it, how are you keeping? I'm a hypocrite. I'm a liar. An actress, a liar. Silly sausage. They're gonna die, aren't they? Morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello. Happy gardening day. Happy whatever day you're watching this. Happy we've passed into actual spring now. Wonderful. I'm at the plot. I'm in the shed, of course, where I always start these videos. And it is the morning. It is early. I am not a morning person. Anyone who knows me will tell you that. I've got a coffee on the way. <laughs> wow, look at that sun. Oh my, okay. Just hide in the shed, hide in the shed. Um, yes, come to the plot before work because it's getting to that time of year where I'm going to have to start coming more often and if the only time I can get is before work then I'm going to have to get up and come before work. So that's what I've done. I am going to do today, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a plot tour, a little bit of a spring plot tour, see where we're up to, see if anything's growing. Doesn't look like it, never does it our plot. Um... I'll take you around. But first, I did come um, very briefly uh, earlier in the week. Um, and I mean very briefly. I had about half an hour. Um, so I'll insert any of that footage that's salvageable now. Welcome back to another allotment vlog. I'm in the greenhouse. I'm talking quietly because our plot neighbour is here. <laughs> and I don't want to be embarrassed. So I'm hoping the microphone can pick me up. I'm hoping the microphone's on. I've checked, I'm double, double checking the green lights on, that means it's on. So let's hope we don't have another repeat of last week with technology. Um, but yeah, I've just popped up. I've not got a lot of time. I've got half an hour. <laughs> um, so I can't do any big jobs. Um, but I might come back and film another bit. But for today, I am going to plant some herbs. The plan is to sort out the bathtub at the back, um, to be a herb planter. But I've just tried to move some stuff out of it. That was the bathtub is, was here when we took on the plot, so um, I've tried to move some stuff out of it. But I think it needs me and Sam to do that. So, but I thought I'd do some preparation while I've got a little bit of time. So I'm going to plant some herb seeds. I have got a couple of um, plants that I got. I don't know why I'm doing that in there. A couple of plants that I got from uh, Lidl, I think, actually. Like, ready-made herbs. <laughs> ready-made. Um, already grown herbs. But I've got some interesting varieties that I want to try. Like, red basil and Thai basil. So, I'm going to plant them myself. I'm in my... I've got my potting bench out in my greenhouse. I managed to move it and it feels good. Feels like I'm a professional. Feels like I know what I'm doing. So my potting bench feels good. It's a nice setup. Thank you, Sam, for making me my potting bench of dreams and not making me spend 50, 100, however many pounds on it. So I've got a lot of herbs. I just buy seeds, don't I? I can't help it. Right, I've got oregano. Some of these haven't got, I bought these off budget seeds, I think. So some of them haven't got um, pictures. Oh, that's a lot in there. Okay. And I've not written like coriander. Is that coriander? I don't know. Thyme. Oh, this is too many to plant. Lemon balm, that's coriander, okay. Another oregano, apparently, because I don't keep track of what I've got. Mint, parsley, parsley, dill, okay. We've got a lot, we've got a lot to go off. <laughs> so, let's make a plan.
moment I've just given these a quick water at the moment. No pumpkins or anything germinating. I don't know if this is oh no, it's still damp. Should be okay. Um get out of there. Um lettuces, etc. We've got one pack of choy and nothing else. Oh, what are you? Spinach maybe? And then nothing in there absolutely nothing brilliant and that's where all the nice new herbs are i've still not put these out honestly i'm just scared i don't want the sluggies to get them sluggies always get everything and i just I don't want the slugs to get them i think what i can do i've got like 15 minutes left i'm gonna plant my first dailies you know i'm gonna plant my first dailies let me just get the compost out the back of my car bear with me so you may recall how can I get good lighting? Oh my god, it's too sunny. I got these lovely potato bags in one of the videos that I bought a load of stuff in. And I'm going to use them. Wow, look at me. I've picked red, a few tremor, red and purple are your first dailies. <laughs> I'm going to chuck some compost in these, chuck my potatoes in them, see how we go. No idea what variety these are because oh maybe I can go back at the vlog and look actually but they're tiny I'm gonna just chuck a couple in they've not really chittered I got them out late whoops also I know I'm probably putting too many in I don't know I'm just winging it right and these are slightly bigger oh so I'll just put Four. We'll just put four in. There we go. And then we'll chuck on the compost. And then where are you going to live? Potato bags. Oh, I wanted to put them at the side of the shed. But I think it might be. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, we might have a bigger project on our hands. So I want to put the potatoes at the side of the greenhouse just because it's dead space but that would mean I've got to put a weed membrane down and bark chip and I've just checked and it's just about dry enough to do that so I think that's what I'm going to do. This was not meant to be a do things like this day. This was meant to be a quick half an hour, <laughs> half an hour jolly. I'm not meant to be getting mucky, I'm going for Sunday dinner after this. we're doing potatoes in bags by the way let me check my microphone's on oh my god i'm paranoid yes microphone's on um it's because when we took on the plot last year there were two massive rows of potatoes which is great however most of them had got wire worm little holes in um so i kind of am hesitant to put potatoes in the ground I think they might do better in the ground technically but I don't want to do that so we're putting them in bags and they've got nice little rainbow bags for a bonus so there you go <laughs> so oh in the shed there we go <laughs> um <sighs> I'm tired <laughs> um I've got about 10-ish minutes left before I really need to go home. I should probably go now, but <laughs> I've got about 10 minutes left. 
So I'm just going to do a really quick bit of weeding. I don't think I can get it all done because weeding's a big job in itself. You need about a day to do weeding, I would say, properly. But I'm just going to get up what I can, give everything a bit of a hoe over, do what I can, um, keep it looking tidy. Trick is, is if you leave your weeding, if you don't do a little bit every time you're here, it will get on top of you. It will. You have to do a little bit every time you're here. Just pick up a weed here and there, give it a little hoe over. My number one recommendation is get yourself one of these. I think it's a Dutch hoe. Incredible. Saves you back. You just, especially if it's been dry, like it is-ish today, you just hoe over the top of the beds or top of your whatever and it scrapes the weeds off from the surface things like dandelions like root weeds you still have to go and dig and pull out but this is great just for getting the top layer off grass it's great for getting up as well so i'm just going to go around and do a little bit of weeding 10 minutes and then call it a day and go home i'll probably come back before i end this video because there are a few more little jobs i want to do but yeah that's it for today and we're back <laughs> power of editing um so yeah first of all i'm going to go around and have a little look if anything's grown that we've planted so what did we plant beetroot parsnips carrots i'm not hopeful i'll be really honest not hopeful right first of all carrots <sighs> oh absolutely nothing look at that absolutely nothing there how long do carrots take to germinate hey eh? how long do they take to germinate don't know Just cover them back up cover them back up we'll give you another chance we'll give you some time maybe you're a slow slow grower we'll, 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 we'll tuck you back in there look parsnips absolutely nothing but i think parsnips are notoriously slow to germinate so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and nothing with the beetroot either but We'll give it time. Time, patience is key when you're gardening. I'm not a patient human, but apparently you have to be when you're a gardener. So let's all ignore the flooding. Let's all just ignore, yep, let's just pretend that's not a problem. Oh, I tell you what, it's nice and warm and toasty in the greenhouse. I might just stay in here. I might just stay in here for the rest of, rest of the time. Right, nothing's going to have germinated. Oh, look at that nothing wait 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 what on earth is happening there is that germinating is that right is that doing things is it doing a thing i think it's doing a thing i see green you're the only one are you is anything else anything else want to come alive no no just you Go on then, mate. You do it for the team. Let's put you back. Let's tuck you back in. Tuck you, tuck you back in nice and safe. Look. There we go. Right. Lettuce. <gasps> Ooh. Got a couple of spinach. Couple of pak choy. No chard, no kale. That's okay. Don't feel rushed, guys. Don't feel rushed. I'm not, you know, impatient. Ooh! What are you? Spinach. Oh, we're going to have loads of spinach. Loads of spinach. Good job we've got a pet rabbit. Oh, and lettuce. Lettuce and I can't remember what else I planted. This is why I need to look back at the videos. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm glad it's not a complete failure. Oh, that's good. And nothing on the herbs yet, but I only planted those the other day, so that's fine. I can understand why you haven't come up yet. Wow, great, fantastic. I'm not a complete failure. Things are growing. Things are growing. Great success. Also, I've got, um, if you watch the vlogs, you'll know, but at home, I've got my brassicas. Brassicas, what else have I got? Peppers, tomatoes, I think that's it. Um, so they're growing at home in our little home greenhouse. But yeah, wonderful. That makes me feel better about a plot being flooded again. Great. This is something else I've got to address, and it's been worrying me, actually. 
is that our rhubarb is trying to flower. Now, you don't want flowering rhubarb, apparently. Don't know why, but you don't want it. So, what I've read on the internet is that you just go and you twist off the heads. These look like little cauliflower heads. Twist them. And... Uh, I can't... Oh, I'm not strong enough. Rhubarb. Come on. Oh, it's very wet. <laughs> so yeah, I've just twisted those off and hopefully that will fix it. <laughs> um, if you're in the comments and I've done the wrong thing, let me know. It's a bit late now, but that was what the internet told me to do. So that's what I did. I twisted off the uh, flower heads. The rest of it seems okay though. I could probably take some young pickings of that, to be honest, if I fancied. Still no frogs in the pond. Come on, frogs. Where are you? So that's the check to see if things are alive. Some things are growing. Wonderful. Big up. Right, I'll do a plot tour properly now. <laughs> so, this is our plot, if you've not seen it before. It is a full plot. Not a half plot. We went in deep <laughs> straight away. Um, in here, we've got strawberries which we haven't bought any of these strawberries when we took on the plot at the very back there was a massive strawberry patch um, that was just gone crazy so what we did is we took some of those runners we planted them this was last year and now we've got loads of strawberry plants there's a tiny there is a tiny little one over there yeah now we've got loads of wonderful strawberry plants um which is good they were free Great! This bed we've got the spring bulbs. Now I planted these sort of not really knowing what I was doing so I should have put them in clumps in hindsight, clumps together but I didn't know so I'll know for next year. Clumps but these colours, this I think this is called, brand is called Tutti Frutti or something this variety of tulip and they are absolutely stunning this like pinky peach one we've got some of these in our back garden as well pinky peach and there's these red and orange ones as well and they're just absolutely gorgeous they're just so pretty um i i didn't remember what variety there's a couple of varieties mixed in here to be honest but these oh, i'll definitely get these again these are so beautiful this, uh, this pack but yeah next year i'll add to this so I mean I'm hoping the bulbs will divide and multiply and do whatever they're supposed to do but I will add more to this so it'll be a bit more full and then when these die off in summer um I'll use still use this as a flower bed and I'll put the cosmos and zinnia and whatever else in here as well oh beautiful I love having colour at the plot ignore this dead one I'll chop that off in a minute I love having colour at the plot makes me so happy. <laughs> right then we'll move on. This is, you know what this is, this is our little bistro dining area set. I've got my carrots in there. I'm hoping to succession sow carrots. Um, that will be a herb planter but I need Sam to help me empty it because it's full of soil and it's too heavy for me to lift on my own. But I'm sure Sam will help me with that when he next comes. And we can turn that into a lovely herb planter. Lovely table and chairs, painted by moi. Um, so, this has got nothing in it. These beds, last year, we just mixed compost into the soil. We didn't do no dig last year, because we didn't have time to... Uh, when we first took on the plot, I wanted to get stuff in the ground straight away. So we didn't have time for like cardboard, rock, manure, rock, whatever. So I just mixed compost into the soil. Um, but it's done all right. You can see there's not really many weeds come up. Um, and the soil here, I said last week that uh, the soil here has been worked for a hundred, more than a hundred years. It's a very historical site. So, like, the ground is pretty good on its own. Never mind, you know, you don't necessarily need compost. Here we have got, right, I think this is perpetual spinach. I've got a label. Oh my god, look at me go. Petrol spinach. Wow, I'm a few bed. And I put this in 
last year. I tried to grow it from seed last year and the slugs ate it all. Or so I thought. Clearly, they left enough for it to grow. So I've just left it to see what happens and it seems to be growing. I don't know why. Not done anything to it. But I've just left it. So we've got a little bit of petrol spinach. I am going to go around and do a tidy. Like I'll trim off the dead leaves and stuff. Um, and sort of tidy up at some point. But yeah, spinach. Wonderful. God, I need to learn to like spinach, don't I? I've got loads of it growing. This is the onion bed. It's a bit damp. It did rain last night. So it's very wet. But our onions look fantastic, to be honest. Um, these were sets, overwintering onion sets. And look how chunky these stalks are. God, I hope the bulb up. So we've got, I think we've got electric. Oh, I can't remember what I planted. I'll link the video where I planted them and all that says the varieties. But yeah, these were just onion sets. And uh, they're coming on fantastically. Over there, we've got the parsnips I planted, but otherwise these beds are... Oh no, and the beetroot. Um, but otherwise these beds are empty. I sort of don't plan. Let me talk to you. <laughs> I don't really plan where I'm going to put things. I just sort of go wherever my heart feels at the moment. I did do a plan, but everything changes all the time. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put things in where I've got space. I, next year, probably... If I think about it properly, I'll do it where you like look what's going to be coming out of the ground and then what can go in the ground. Like, um, well, I sort of done it with the tulips. Is I know they'll be done flowering by the end of spring, and then I can put my summer flowers in. Um, these onions will be summer onions, and I've also oh, that's another job I need to do. I've got some onion sets to go in now that will be autumn winter onions. Um, so that's sort of successional. But everything else I've sort of not planned enough. <laughs> anyway, maybe next year we'll uh, we'll have the foresight to plan. So this at the moment is garlic, full of garlic. Will me and Sam ever eat this much garlic? <laughs> Probably not. Um, I think this is supermarket garlic. Again, I don't. I can't. The labels have either blown away or rubbed off, so I don't know what varieties they are. But I did say it when I planted them in the vlog, so that's a bonus. I can look back at the vlog. Um, but I know some of these were supermarket garlic. I know that. I think they were Aldi supermarket garlic. Um, some were proper garlic from the garden centre, and some my mum got me from France, from the supermarket in France. So we've got French garlic. I think the French garlic is actually Spanish garlic, but whatever. And then that lonely one is an elephant garlic bulb. And we did have two, but one of them sort of must have disintegrated or whatever. But that elephant garlic's coming up. That was Sam's idea to plant that. Yeah, this garlic's looking... It's growing. It's, it's growing. I sort of don't... I didn't expect it. <laughs> I've never grown garlic before. But it looks fantastic. And then these are our new arches which you saw me put up not long ago. Um, I need to reinforce. I'm going to go. I got paid today. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go and buy a load of stuff. That's what I usually do when I get paid. Um, so I'm going to buy some more canes, like I've done on that arch there, to support this arch a bit, just so the legs are a bit sturdier. It might not wobble and bend as much in the wind. I don't know. I, I do know that these aren't going to last forever, and I would love some lovely wooden arches, but... The funds aren't stretching that far at the moment. This is no dig bed. This is no dig bed with manure. This is no dig bed with manure. This is no dig, no dig, no dig. This is the dahlias. Now, I thought these would have died immediately because I planted them in February and the internet told me not to do that after I'd already done it. So <laughs> I put a layer of uh, horse manure on top in the vain hope that it would keep it warm under there enough for the dahlias to come up. Now nothing's coming up so far but that's I think that's okay. I think oh well, people on the on the comments have told me that they might not be dead. That's what I was trying to say. People on the comments have said that they might not be dead. It's not actually been that cold since I planted them. We've not really had any bad frosts up here. And um, we're in Derbyshire by the way. Um 
So I don't I don't know what's going to happen with this. I'm leaving it. If nothing comes up by, you know, May, June, <laughs> then I'll do something else with this bed. Um, but for the moment, it's uh, dahlias. Sorry, I keep calling them dahlias, but then my mum tells me often says we call it dahlias around here. So dahlias, dahlias, whatever. No big bed with nothing in. The wonderful pond is very full. <laughs> Our plants seem to survive. This is good enough, look. That'll look nice. I can't see any of the poppies or anything, calendula, that I sowed coming up yet, but that's all right. I'm sure they'll... Oh, wait. Are you a weed? Are you a, are you a weed? You might be a weed. Oh, the strawberries coming up. See, this is what I mean. Strawberries everywhere. I'll pull those up. This is flooded. <laughs> Everything's flooded. Yeah, the plants seem okay. There's one over there that's been walked on and squished, but the other ones are all right, I think. But well, how are you, Terry? How's it, how are you keeping? All right. Any frogs? Seen any frogs? I'm not doing the job, mate. We are going to get some uh, proper pond plants to go in here, by the way, like the weeds and stuff to give it more cover in the pond, because I am aware that that looks a bit rubbish for frogs at the moment, but yeah. No dig bed. This is the one that's got rabbit poop in. <laughs> rabbit poop and litter. Um, but again, not planted. Not planted. Rhubarb. And then the greenhouse, which I'm going to go back in because my hands are actually really, really cold. <laughs> the temperature says it is like 13 ish degrees in here. It's quite a nice ambient temperature. I think these need to go out soon. They need a good water. Oh no. Oh no, they don't need a good water. Oh, I'm wrong. But these are the plug plants I bought at the garden centre. I've just sort of been keeping them in here. Someone actually did say just plant your pak choy and keep it in the greenhouse because whenever I put pak choy out, the slugs get it and I love pak choy and I really want to grow it. So maybe that's an idea. Maybe I can just plant it in the greenhouse. Oh, we've got our kale and what are you, cabbage? Well, I think these are a bit immature to go out yet. I think they're a little bit immature. So I just want to grow them on slightly more until they're, I feel like they'll survive the slugs because the slugs will come. The slugs will come and they will eat everything. <sighs> Alas. But yeah, these are my potatoes chipping away. Oh, these are the onions I was on about. That need to be planted now-ish. <laughs> Onion sets. Um, but it's quite a lengthy job to plant onions. I remember it took me like an hour last time. So uh, I've, I've not done them yet, basically. And this is my wonderful potting table made by my wonderful boyfriend Sam out of pallet wood and then I painted it pink. And this is a washing up bowl to put the compost in. Um, and I love it and I am so pleased with it and I am so thankful of Sam for doing it for me. Um, and yeah, that is the greenhouse so far. Eventually, this will be filled with tomatoes, aubergines, peppers. Um, the reason I've got these shelves, by the way, is because one, I got them off Facebook for cheap, but two, they fold away. So when the greenhouse is overrun with tomatoes, I can fold these up put them in the shed super easy and then have more room for growing the mature plants once all the seedlings are sort of done. But yeah, and that is the tour of the plot. That's the compost mess. <laughs> I am planning on doing a three bay system, but at the moment it's too hard work with everything being wet all the time because all of the soil in there is just wet and it's a nightmare to move and we can't really get round to it because of the flooding and it's not it's not a good time to be doing it so maybe in summer when things have dried up and we get a few warm days i'll sort out the three bay system these are what i'm trying to make my hot composters and do it properly with you know make with uh, cardboard paper manure greens like i'm trying to do those properly and then we chuck everything else onto the other compost basically so, like, um, I've just chucked those rhubarb flowers onto there because I don't know if you meant to do anything with those. Um, weeds, I don't know what we're going to do with weeds. At the moment, we just keep them in buckets or sometimes we chuck them on there. But 
yeah, that's a bit of a dumping ground at the moment, but these are my proper compost bins. So that's the tour. <laughs> Very brief. Oh, my potato bags. They're over there. Um, that's the tour. Very briefly, that's the tour. And I'm going to, I brought some of my sweet peas um, that I've grown at home. And I'm hopefully going to make a little structure for them to grow up. Or I'm going to do it on the archway. Oh, I've not decided. Maybe I should have decided that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How long do sweet peas last? Because I want my pumpkins on the arches. I can always get another arch. Right, let's do it on the arches because that will look lovely and it'll be something growing that everyone can see and they can see that I grow things at this plot because the arch will be like a shining beacon of Emma's not a failure. So <laughs> let's grow them up the arch. Right, let's go do that. So I just filmed a whole section and it wasn't even recorded. Oh, to say I work in technology, I really do not get on with technology. Basically, I'll, I'll fill you in. I've uh, made this little twine thing for the sweet peas to climb up. Planting my sweet peas. These are what I've grown at home. Um, and yeah, I'm just digging out a little, little trench for them. And I've just got to tell you all, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a liar. An actress, a liar, um, because I've accidentally joined the allotment committee. <laughs> I didn't mean to, <laughs> um, but basically, in the I did a video about the pond, and someone from the committee came over to me and told me that I needed permission for the pond. I was unaware of this. Um, it didn't say it in the allotment rules that I needed permission for the pond and so I got a bit arsy with the uh, committee at that point but no one else apart from that one man has mentioned anything about the pond um, and people come over to our plot all the time and talk to us so I don't think there's anything wrong with the pond I'm a hypocrite because I've now joined the committee <laughs> I've now joined the allotment committee which is a bit of a strange turn for me, I will admit. Um, I'm not normally one to uh, join in with authority. <laughs> However, I offered to help with the, their like website and stuff because it is a bit dated and I could tell that they needed some like web <laughs> help <laughs> from someone in you know the modern age. Um, so I offered to help with that and then it all spiralled a bit out of control and then I went to a committee meeting last night. So, <laughs> so whoops, I accidentally joined the committee. However, everyone has been absolutely lovely on the committee, I have to say. I went to my first meeting last night and everyone there was really welcoming, um, was really kind, said how well we'd done on our plot you know, the, the, it was it was really nice actually to go and find out what was going on um, from the inside. <laughs> so, yeah, so I accidentally joined the committee and I'm going to be helping them out with their website. Um, I want to send out like a newsletter and make the like allotments a bit more of a social space because at the moment the only social interaction you have is people coming over and saying hello and whatever, but... I'd like to, you know, go to the pub or have a seed swap or, you know, whatever. So that's what I'm going to help them out with. But I think that does make me a bit of a hypocrite for uh, slagging them off when they told me off about the pond. I think they didn't mean to tell me off about the pond. There isn't anything in the rules about the pond and no one else has come up to me about the pond. So, you know, I think the pond is fine. Although we have got plot inspections coming up so maybe they'll tell me off about the pond or maybe not because I'm on the committee now I'm on the inside so maybe they won't tell me off maybe that's a bonus these sweet peas are a little bit wobbly I thought these were ready to go out but maybe they weren't another thing about the committee while we're here let's have a chat is I think really it's just a group of people so there's 13 people on the committee that really love gardening <laughs> and really care about this space and, you know, although there's lots of things you could say about, you know, losing power and blah, 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 the committee's all voted in. 
Um, everyone on this plot can have a say. And they genuinely just want this space to be kept nice. When I was at the meeting last night, there were lots of discussions about doing, like fixing the road and the car park and doing that as a group. And uh, some other projects. Uh, we've got an orchard that needs, you know, looking after and stuff. So there is, I think there's lots of good things to be said about the committee, as well as, you know, maybe there is a bit of back and forth of politics and what is what and, you know, but I think mostly it's just a group of group of people that really love gardening and I am part of that now and I want to I wanna make sure that there's a, a young voice in that group because the average age of the committee was not young and there's nothing wrong, you know, gardening is a sort of older hobby, I suppose, but it's quite nice to have a young person's opinion and someone who does like no dig for example have a bit of a different different outlook on things i think anyway oh this is going to really annoy everyone that tells me to put my hair up all the time isn't it look for you people that get annoyed about me touching my hair I put my hair up just for you guys just for you see i look right wally now i look like a teletubby See, you did this to me, the internet. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side of these arches. made you this structure use it use it guys come on there we go in in you get go on you climb up there look you can do it go on upwards make me a beautiful archway come on we have faith they're gonna die aren't they going to die. So I don't trust that the slugs are going to leave these alone. I think the slugs are going to eat them. So I'm going to try and protect them a little bit. This might be futile. I'm going to just take off any leaves that are dead. And I've got I've been collecting at home eggshells and I know there's a bit of controversy about whether eggshells actually work or not but they don't not work you know they're good for your soil so the worst comes to the worst you're just feeding your soil aren't you but I know there's some suggestion that eggshells might actually attra attract the slugs but these have been dried before I put them in this jar so hopefully there's no like eggy membrane <laughs> and as I say what's the worst that's going to happen it's not you know it's not going to do harm so I just put a few eggshells in the general sort of vicinity of the <laughs> of the plants just to deter the slugs a little bit and then I've also got some of this, which I got last year, but this is dead expensive, which is, I don't know what this is actually. Is it just like a grit? I don't know. I don't know. Lava light. But I remember this being dead expensive and I bought it because I was absolutely done with the slugs eating everything and they still ate everything. But I'm going to give it another go, you know. People also use strutch, but again, very expensive. If you know of, because we've got quite a lot of on, a few people on here now, if you know of a good natural way to deter slugs, let me know. I know there's nothing you can really do, got mud in my face again, to stop the little pesky little pesky little buggers. But if there's anything that can help, at home I've got peppermint oil. 
um, that I can dilute and spray. I made a garlic solution to spray last year and it didn't work. Oh, maybe an experiment could be is because those are planted next to the garlics, maybe the slugs won't get them. Oh, oh, that's an experiment, isn't it? See if the garlic slug theory is correct. Right, I'm going to do the exact same <laughs> protection on my first ones and then uh, I think I need to go home or I'll be late for work. <sighs> Potentially should have watered them in before all the eggshells on. Silly sausage. So that's it for another vlog, another allotment vlog. Let me know what jobs you're doing in your garden, um, how you're getting on, how your flowers are blooming. If there's one thing you'd recommend for us to plant, let us know in the comments. Um, we're in a, as I say, we're in Derbyshire. We're in North Derbyshire, South Yorkshire. Um, we've got a pretty mild climate. It rains a fair bit. Um, we don't have the warmest of summers. But if there's anything you'd recommend to plant, let me know. Anything unusual, let us know in the comments and we'll, uh, we may consider planting them. But yeah, that's it for another day. Have one last day with you. Take the plot or oh, I love it. I love it. I was talking to her someone on the committee now I'm on the committee and they were saying that unfortunately they have loads of young people that join up and they have the best intentions but then they just run out of time with work and working full-time stuff and me and Sam both work full-time but you've got to come like I've come this morning before work it's now light enough that you can do that we're going to come after work and um, we're spending our Easter bank holiday mostly here so you have to put the time and effort in but if you do it really really pays off like what a lovely start to the morning this has been in nature the birds are chirping there's no one on the plots so I think there's one other person way over there at the morning sun it's absolutely lovely so thank you for watching <laughs> I'm trying to sign off in this one thank you for watching remember to leave a comment of what we should plant in our allotment plot and um, we will see you next week subscribe if you're not already a massive thank you to everyone for subscribing because we're now at a thousand subscribers which is just absolutely insane um, my goal when i started youtube was 100 so <laughs> we're 10 times better than i ever thought and it just keeps growing and i'm so thankful to each and every one of you for being there with us and following our journey and we've only got more to do and more to learn so yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe join the join the fun join the group and uh, follow along with us on our life and our gardening journey. And we will see you next week. Bye. I wonder if anyone's ever done the excuse that they've been late to work because they're too busy gardening, because that's about, that's about to happen. <laughs>